Today we're going to be working on a map that is a re-release of a previous map, I believe, from Farming Simulator 19. It is called Ravenport. It's been upgraded to Farming Simulator 22 standards, so now it's called Ravenport 22. We're going to take a look at the map and the starting farm here in just a minute. Hello and welcome to the Farm Bubba channel, where we help you learn all you need to have fun in Farming Simulator 22. Be sure and visit Farm Bubba Homes for more videos. And while you're there, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when the next video posts. Be sure to leave a comment below to let me know what you think of this video and suggestions for any future videos. All right, let's get going. Okay, we've got our map loaded up now, and the first thing I want to do is go in and check to make sure that I have turned off my autosave interval, and I'm going to drop my time scale all the way down to... It looks like 0.5 times is the lowest I can get. Now, I am playing on a PC, and I do have easy development controls installed. I realize that some of you are playing on console, and you may not have access to easy development controls like I have here on PC. So I'm going to try to do everything I can today to not use easy development controls. I do have them enabled on my computer right now, and I will be using them to do some aerial views and to move around the map. But most of the other stuff that I do, I'm not going to be using any of the features of the easy dev controls. So everybody on console should be able to follow along and do everything we do today. First thing we want to do is take a brief look at the map. It appears that we have all of our cell points and our industries along this part of the map here. There's a couple of other ones scattered out here and there, but the bulk of them seem to be in this lower, say, southwest corner of the map. Our farm is located in the southeast corner of the map, and it looks like it's split into two. There's a large area over here with a couple of fields, and there's a smaller area over here. Doesn't look like it has any fields, but it may have a couple of buildings over here. Here we are on the main portion of the farm here. This is the largest area of the two. And the easiest way that I know of to figure out what some of these buildings are is to go into our construction menu. If we go over to demolish, we can look at these buildings here, click on them and see this is a barn. We can see that this thing here is a stable. There's a farm shed, $100,000 worth of farm shed. There's another one, looks exactly the same. Farm storage for another $100,000. Of course, there's our farmhouse, there's a shed. This is another little garage, yeah, farm garage for $20,000. We've got a, what do we have in here? Got a chicken pasture. $60,000. And here is our silo for another $100,000. Now let's take a closer look at some of these other buildings down here and see what they actually are. Let's try to see if we've got a door that will open. Those don't look like doors. These do, but can't get into any of them. Some other little doors. I'm not sure that we can do anything with this building here. Uh, the big barn here. Yep, there's got a couple big doors on it here. So I know we can use that. Uh, let's look at what this building is here. Any of these doors slide open? Uh, apparently not. And that door won't open. I'm not sure how good any of these buildings are. If you can't get into them, what good are they? It may be a storage building, but if you can't get into it, how are you going to store anything? I don't see any uh, icons for dumping materials or anything like that. There's a silo there, but I don't know how you get into it. There's just no access to this building at all. So on my mind, these are worthless buildings, so let's just get rid of them. Go back into our construction menu, all the way over to demolish, and let's just demolish these things. Uh, I guess we can hang on to that one. I don't really like that silo thing. I can get a cheaper one for a lot less than $100,000. So five buildings times $100,000 each. It got us another half a million dollars there. So let's venture over to this other smaller area and see what we've got over here. 
Looks like there's a couple of barns, a couple of big storage buildings there. So let's see what this is. That is a cow barn. This is a sheep barn. And this is something called a Verico, whatever that is. It's $150,000 worth. I don't see a farmhouse or anything over here, but I tell you what. You know what I'm thinking? I like this little area here because I do like that cool little cow barn. We'll get rid of the sheep barn in this other little building here. And we're going to make our farm over here instead of here. Let's do a little smaller farm this time. So let's just get rid of all of these buildings here. Let's get rid of this chicken coop. That garage. Oh, there's a pickup truck inside of it. Let's get rid of the storage building. And I think that is all. Oh, this flag is probably part of it. So let's get rid of the flag. Now let's see if we can sell the property. $105,000. And $181,000. Okay. Now we've got, ooh, $1.1 million. I think we can work with that. As far as equipment goes, um, and yeah, let's just get rid of everything. This way we'll have a little bit more money to work with. But come to think of it, I don't care for this building here. Let's get rid of that one. And we're not doing sheep today. Well, it looks like the only thing we're keeping is the cow barn. But we're going to add a lot more stuff and make a cool little farm here. Okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Let's put a house down here to start with. Go over here to buildings, farmhouses, and this house right here for $60,000. It doesn't have a lot of other clutter around it. And I just like the style of it. It's fairly inexpensive. We're going to park it right over here. We need a uh, manure pit. Go to silo extensions. Manure pit. We're going to get rid of a couple of trees. So we're going to pop that thing right back in here. And let's get rid of a couple of trees. Now here is where Easy Dev Controls comes in. But if we don't have Easy Dev Controls, we do have another way to get rid of some trees. A couple different ways to get rid of a tree. Number one, chainsaw. You've got a chainsaw, you can come in here and cut this tree down. But the only problem is, now you gotta get rid of the tree and the stump. I can cut the tree up in little pieces and go sell it, but that's kind of a pain too. Second thing to do is use Tree Be Gone. You can buy this thing at the shop and it will get rid of the tree and the stump all in one shop. There you go, it is gone. Of course, if you have easy development controls, then all you have to do is just come down here and turn on delete objects. And then you can just go over and delete any tree you want. Just put that little center target right on the tree, hit your delete key, and it's gone. So either way, console or PC, you can take care of trees pretty easy. All right, let's continue adding some buildings to our little farm build here. This looks like a good spot to put a little shed. A nice modern little shed here. And we'll pop that thing right in here. Okay, we're going to need a silo, so we will go ahead and put our silo in here. We don't need a really big silo, so we'll put this other little smaller one here. And we will pop that thing in right about there. We're not going to have a garage with the workshop, so we'll just go ahead and put a portable workshop right over in here. And then we'll go ahead and put a pressure washer right over in here, too. All right, what's next on our little farm here? Um, raise your hand if you like chickens. Let's put a chicken coop right over in here somewhere. 
Go in our construction menu under animals and chickens. And let's get something just a little bit different. Yeah, you know, my favorite one is this one here. I like that, but let's just do something a little bit different. We'll put this one in here. It's a little more basic. And raise your hand if you like horses. Let's put some horses in here. My favorite little horse pin goes right here. We're going to do a little bit different shed this time. We're going to put this one right here. Let's put this little shed right back in here. There we go. We'll plant a couple of trees back behind it. Put a couple of bushes in here, maybe. Just kind of protect them from the weather a little bit. There we go. All right, then, even though we don't have a garage that we're going to put in, we can at least get some sort of a covered shelter here for our equipment. Let's put this little building here. We can at least put a couple of tractors into that. All right, now let's do a little bit of landscaping around here. I believe this is probably the dirt color. Yeah, this is the dirt color that we've got there. Let's put a little bit of dirt up inside here. Something like that. Since we don't seem to have any gravel here, we'll just continue with the dirt theme. Let's go here and put a little bit of... Uh, dirt in this area here going out in through here what I like to do over here is put a little bit of this animal mud in let's fill this in with some animal mud kind of get it out this way just a little bit and then if we go in with just a touch of this forest floor use your little round brush here so that you can just Pop in some of this patchy stuff. You see, is that kind of, I don't know, is that kind of manure-ish looking or something? I don't know. I, I like doing that to it anyway. Let's go back to our dirt. And get a little bit of dirt over in here. Where we service our chickens. A little bit of grass back in through here. To make it look a little more natural maybe same thing over in this area maybe back into our dirt over here but we will put a little bit of gravel in front of our door let's use that one right there We always have to go back in and put a little bit of grass again next to everything here. Then we'll fill in the rest of the grass around the house. We'll put a little bit more grass around our silo here. Alright, let's go in and add some animals. Let's start over here with the chickens. Let's get a few chickens going in here. Get a rooster. We got about 30 chickens. And let's get just a couple of chicks here. Let's open this cow barn up a little bit. And get us a few cows. Get us a bull. Don't need but one of those. Get a few cows. And maybe a couple of little calves. What do you say? All right. Next up, a couple of horses. A 
Then we'll get him a mate. The last thing we need down here at the road is a mailbox. Nothing fancy. And there we go. So now all you need to do is add your favorite pieces of equipment. Maybe buy a field or two. This field down here would probably be a pretty good one. I would expand this field a little bit more. There's a little bit of room to work with down here. And you have a nice little starting farm. So that about wraps things up on our little mini farm build here on Ravenport 22. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure and visit the Farm Bubba channel homepage for lots more videos. And while you're there, please subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be notified when the next video posts. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you thought of this little farm build and give me suggestions for any future videos that you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.